a few items that I'm going to need to set this in. The wedge that I was originally going to use is too thick, so I can't use this. I've opted for toothpicks instead. I've got my nuts and my screws that I'm going to need to clamp it through the holes. I got me some tape to mask off any areas where I don't want the epoxy to set in. Bowl and some spoons to mix my epoxy in. I've also cut me a little oak sliver, folks, to fill in this gap here. After I set my handle in, that'll fit down in here and close it up. And there's a little bit of a discrepancy here in depth. And this is so that I can get some epoxy behind it to help glue this piece in and also to help solidify the haft as it sets. I'm sure most of you have used this epoxy before. I just happened to have Gorilla Epoxy because that's what was laying around. That's what I grabbed the last time. Easy to use. It always comes out in the same amount. Just squeeze what you think you're going to need and stir it up. Alright, now I'm going to have to work fast, folks. I've already wasted a minute. This stuff sets up in five. I've also finished taping this off real quick. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spoon a bunch of epoxy down in there to give something for that half to set down in. And I want to make sure I get it good and thick in there. This will squeeze out in between and it's exactly what I want. It will force everything up. Now it's squeezing out all over. This is where the mess starts. Feeding my bolts through. I'm going to put this thing together while it's still wet and then I got to get wedges in here and get that blade straight before she sets. This is where my toothpicks are going to come in. Alright, near as I can tell, everything's lined up, folks. I'm going to get a few more toothpicks in here. I'm going to break these off and I'm going to fill this up with epoxy a little bit more. Now, what I'm going to do before this epoxy sets all up, I'm going to get these nuts on and tighten this down some. The epoxy's setting up quick. wipe some off on top of this knife point because I got a little nub of my wood to fill it in. Before I go capping it folks I'm going to use the tip of a toothpick and just kind of try to make sure epoxy's filling all down in those little spaces between that blade and the wood. And I've got too much epoxy in there so it's going to squeeze out hopefully. Okay, now it's all forcing out. That's exactly what I want. You can see how much it squeezed out, folks. That's exactly what I want right there.